Okay, everyone, today I will be showing you how to use the Loom app uh, in order to screen record and share any work that you've done and presentations and different things like that. Uh, so first we'll start off here at the eCadence homepage. The assignment that I will use is assignment M1.4. I'll click on assignments here, click on M1.4. And when you click on that, it'll take you over to the Google Doc M1.4. Remember that you do need to make a copy of this. And if we scroll up to the top here, uh, this will give you the assignment directions. And if we go down to this bottom paragraph here, uh, one of the things that it asks you is that your presentation can be in the form of Google Slides uh, with the voice narrative, a short video, a storyboard, a compilation of videos. The feature that we're gonna focus on will be the Google Slide presentation with voice narrative. In other words, I will be doing a presentation for you. So once you've done that, you've used the research that you've done and the assignments that you've done uh, in M1.2, you're going to take the information that you learned and you're going to create responses for each of these questions. So once you've done that, you're going to take the information, you're going to consolidate it, make it presentable, and you're going to take the important features over to assignment M1.4 Google Slides. So you'll go ahead and create Google Slides for this presentation. Uh, it'll load up here. If you see here, I have an example of how you can organize this and load it. So we see here the different slides. But the important part is how do I present this and how do I upload it? So if I hit presentation mode, it'll take me to presentation. At this point is where you will start the Loom recording feature. Um, one thing about Loom is you see me down here in the corner. Um, I am presenting to you with my camera on. You can disable this feature and turn off the camera if that is something that you would like to do. So if I hit present, it'll take me to presentation mode. And then like I normally would, I would begin presenting my information to you. So this is assignment M1.4, our historic pandemic. Uh, done by myself, Mr. Tenorio, and I'll move into my first slide. So who am I? Again, my name is Mr. Tenorio. I'm a teacher at Anaheim High School, Go Colonists, and I chose to research the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918. So who was affected? In what regions? How did it all spread? And what were some of those main features of the beginnings of the Spanish flu pandemic? Then I go on to talk about uh, the, the impacts that the Spanish flu pandemic had on society, the economy, and also politically. And then I would conclude my findings by letting you know how it all ended. Uh, so this is how I would carry out my presentation. Uh, it is being screen recorded and it is also capturing the audio. Um, once you're all done, you would go ahead and click on the green arrow for Loom that you can see on your screen and that would conclude the video. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to continue sharing with you how this feature works. Uh, once you've done this and you've concluded your presentation, you can head on out of here. You will go back into Loom, the Loom website, the Loom features, and you can see here, this is my account. These are all of my videos. And one of the things that Loom allows you to do again, once you've created your account with your student account, is you can take links and share them. So if I go down to here and I click that there, the link is copied, but also if I open up the video, I am able to copy the link with this button here. So if I hit copy link, that link is copied and those links are important for our course uh, because that is what we use to submit our assignments through the Google form. So real quick, I'll just show you that if I go back to eCadence and I am in the assignments section, 
for module one, and we know that at the end of the assignment lists, we will have the assignment submission form. You can click on that there. It'll take you to our Google form here. And just like we've done, you go ahead and fill out your information, put your last name there and your first name. What group are you in? What assignment number was that? All of our assignments at the beginning will be labeled with an M and number. So this is M 1.4. And then I will provide the link to my Loom screencast video that has my presentation. So I'll just paste that over because I copied it. And then you can see there that this co comes from loom.com. And then I hit submit. And that shares the link to my screen recorded presentation. So that's it. This is how you use Loom to screen record presentations.